Hi, welcome to Fullness of Grace. This is Jenny Cochran, and I'm here with Father Quan Tran. And today we're here to talk again about his book, which is The Imitation of Mary, Keys to Growth in Virtue and Grace. And today we're talking about chapter two, which is confidence in God. And Father Quan, I really enjoyed reading the book, and I'm glad that we're taking this opportunity to um, talk more about it. And um, when I was reviewing this chapter, I just loved the first line, which is, the more we trust in the Lord, the more he will act in our lives. So can you tell me more about that? Right, just based on what Jesus said too, a lot of times in scripture, as you um, may remember, you know, a lot of times when he does a healing or he does something, a lot of times he'll attribute that to the person's faith. You know, your faith has healed you. you know, your faith has saved you. And, and, he, um, and a lot of times he's disappointed when people lack faith. You know, like Peter walking on water, it's like, oh, why did you doubt? You know, you have little faith. Why did you doubt? You were doing so well. And, um, and then th there was also a, a time when he was at his hometown and the people started questioning him, you know, saying, hey, wait, isn't he the son of the carpenter? Isn't he the son of Mary? Who does he think he is? Mm -hmm. And so it said that he, he wasn't able to do much because of their lack of faith, because of their lack of faith. And um, his other quotes to heal his other statements to St. Saint Faustina, uh, telling us that, you know, that the, that the more a soul trusts, the more they will receive. Mm -hmm. and, and then also, um, and, and so on. And so, and so that, that's a, it's a common theme through, throughout the Bible. And the more we trust, the more we will receive, the more He will act in our lives. So um, He's encouraging us to, to trust in Him, to have confidence in Him, you know, have to have confidence in God. And, uh, and, the, and the more we are, and the more we have faith, the more we will see God act in our lives. Yeah. And how would you suggest that we grow in this type of confidence and faith in, in, and trust in God? So we know that, um, I think the more we know God, the more we, we will trust in Him. Mm -hmm. um, you know, He revealed his, his name to Moses when Moses asked Him, you know, who, who should I tell them sent me? And He said, you know, tell them I am who I am. That, that tells a lot about who, who God is, that he, that he is existence, that He exists, that He is present, and that He is not only current, currently present, but He is, he is, is also actively present, so, and, and that He will be with you. So by, by His name alone, we can tell that God is always present and active in our lives. Mm -hmm. That reveals a lot about a, a person by their name. And so, um, and so the first thing we need to know is God, by definition of His name alone, that He is, that he is present and active in, in our life. And, um, and another way to, um, to, to grow in faith, perhaps, is to maybe eliminate some obstacles to faith. Mm -hmm. And I, I've listed some obstacles to faith, um, and one of them is pride. Mm -hmm. um, pride becomes an obstacle to faith. And we can kind of see this in, in, in our world, too. People who are, who are very successful, who, who are perhaps very educated, and, 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 and are prideful, they, they, too, they, they, they struggle with faith because they think they, they know it all, they think they can, they, they have it all figured out, and, and, that's, and that becomes an obstacle to faith. A lot of times they, they struggle with faith because of their pride. Another one is, is attachments. I speak about attachments to sin, people living in sin, uh, that's difficult for them to grow in faith. Uh, attachments to the things of the world, um, that, that again ma makes it difficult for them to grow in faith and attachments, uh, attachment to themselves and their own will too can, can become an obstacle to faith. And the last one I, attachment I, I speak about is apathy. You know, some people are just sort of indifferent, lukewarm, apathetic, and, and that is, can be an obstacle to faith. I also mentioned fear in there as well. And so those are the obstacles to faith. So uh, eliminating pride, becoming more humble, becoming detached, and, um, and, and becoming more, I guess, zealous and, and um, more interested and on, on fire can help us to grow in our faith. I know in my life I've really seen the effect of pride as I look past over, back over my life. And there's times where I thought I could do it all, I could solve all these problems. And, and to a certain extent, the world really encourages that, you know, be, take charge, you know, um, it's, everything is up to you. And 
you know, as we age, and maybe people learn this a lot sooner, but we realize that, no, it's not us. We can't do it on our own, and that God is with us. And that revelation of knowing that God is close and that He cares about us, He's with us, He created us for a mission, is um, so powerful to um, overcome that pride of thinking, I have to do it myself, no one can do it as well as me, and, and things like that. So it comes back to trusting that God will help us do all this. Yeah. Right, and Jesus many times uses parables or explanations to, to um, show us the Father's love, you know? Mm -hmm. he, sa he says something like, you know, uh, the sparrows, you know, um, they, they're, they're sold for not more than two cents each, but not one of them fall to the ground without your Father knowing. Mm -hmm. And then, and then he, he speaks about the, the flowers of the field and, and, and the grass, you know, they, 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 they're beautiful. And, and the Father provides for them, but they're worth mm -hmm. so much more than, than you. I mean, you, you are worth so much more than mm -hmm. them. You know, all the hairs on your head are counted. Basically, Jesus says that um, G God doesn't just abandon us, doesn't just neglect us, but He is um, intimately familiar with us. He knows everything we're going through, all of our struggles, all of our uh, everything. So He's saying, do not worry. Do not worry about today, you know, what you are to drink, what you are to eat, what you are to wear. You know, the Father takes care of you. Um, and, you know, he, he, he speaks about even, even earthly fathers, how earthly fathers, you know, they want their best for their children. Um, and he says, well, how much more would your, your Heavenly Father take care of you? So you, again, have, have confidence in, in God the Father, that He's always with you, He doesn't abandon you, and, and, he'll, and he'll take care of you. Yeah. I think Mary is such a great uh, role model as far as confidence in God. I mean, imagine um, agreeing her fiat to, you know, be the mother of God, uh, to receive a child from the Holy Spirit. I mean, that must have taken incredible confidence. So can you tell me a little bit more about how Mary is the role model for confidence in God? Right. So Mary, you know, um, believed um, by, by faith. So she, you know, St. Augustine said that she conceived Jesus in her heart by faith before she conceived him in her womb. And so she, um, she knew, and, and, and we hear this also from Elizabeth, you know, blessed, blessed are you who believe that what would, was spoken to you by the angel would be fulfilled. So Elizabeth, illumined by the Holy Spirit, knows that Mary mm -hmm. is a woman filled with faith and she is carrying out God's plan. And not only that initial fiat, but throughout her life, as you know, you know, she goes from one difficulties to another, you know, of, of, go, of going to Bethlehem to, to give birth in, in, in a manger, and then of going to Egypt, you know, to, to, to get away from Herod, who's trying to kill um, Jesus, and, and so on and so on, and, you know, up to Calvary and so on. You know, she, she just surrendered to God's will and uh, just to have faith in Him, to be docile uh, with God's will, and to conform her will to God's will. And so she, she's a woman filled with faith, uh, knowing that God has everything under His control, everything is within God's providence, and she, she lives and moves and, and uh, conform herself accordingly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So tell me how we uh, have confidence in the Lord when we're faced with various trials. Right. So especially now, we, as uh -huh. you know, know we, we, we're, we're, we're facing many trials, for, you can say, I guess, for the last year or so mm -hmm. with COVID and the, all, the, uh, all the turbulence, the, the politics and everything else in our country. So, and so, so a lot of people are, um, are, are, our faith is tested during this time. And scriptures remind us uh, often that our faith needs to be tested in order for us to grow. And, and when, when faith is tested and, and our faith becomes stronger, right? Um, and so this is a time we've been tested for, for the last year or so. And this is a time when God is asking us to grow, to grow in our faith, to trust in Him, mm -hmm. to know that everything is within His, His providence and that, uh, and that good can come out of all this. And, um, and many times in scriptures we hear that, yeah, yeah, just like gold is made stronger by fire, so is your faith. It has to be tested. And, and so this, you know, faith 
and then uh, and then once the faith is tested, we become stronger. We we become more uh, uh, our endurance is stronger, and then we become um, and then it becomes it becomes a habit. We we become stronger because of that. So know that uh, God allows us to undergo trials, testing, challenges in order for us to grow, to be stronger. Um, in, in our faith and in our union with Him. Yeah, sometimes it sounds so easy when we talk about it, you know, um, to just have that attitude. But when people are struggling with um, having lost their job or not having enough food for their family, um, are there anything concrete that you would suggest for people who are going through really difficult times right now? Sure. I mean, um, I think prayer really does help us. Uh, mm -hmm. Prayer is, is, a, is a, uh, one of the main channels of grace. To, to, to help us, you know, just like especially like the prayer of uh, the father who, who had a, um, a child who was suffering from a, uh, a, a demon and, um, and the, the disciples couldn't cure him, the child, couldn't heal him, couldn't, uh, couldn't get rid of the demon. Uh, and then Jesus said, you know, you know you, because of your little faith, you can't do it. So have faith. And the father says something like, um, I do believe, help my unbelief. Mm -hmm. So he's making an act of faith. He's saying, oh, yes, okay, I do believe in you, Jesus. I know that you can do it. But at the same time, he's, he's humbly admitting that, that it can be stronger. Mm -hmm. And so, so I do believe, help my unbelief. So I think that's a prayer that we, that we can pray as well, mm -hmm. is that um, you know, even though we're struggling, we can make an act of faith saying, Jesus, I do believe. I do believe that you can help me. I do believe that you can make things better, but help my unbelief because it's still, I'm mm -hmm. still struggling. Well, that's really, really helpful. Okay, um, is there anything else you wanted to talk about testing of faith or? No, I think um, I think we, we covered um, a, a lot already. Okay. So um, yeah, in terms of um, may, maybe some practical tips is um, you know perhaps perhaps have images you mm -hmm. know just like the Divine Mercy image mm -hmm. where we hear the see the words Jesus I trust in you, mm -hmm. or pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet, mm -hmm. right, and, and so on, and, and prayer um, images and uh, making acts of faith. There's the, our official, there's the act of faith, the act of hope, uh -huh. and things like that. Don't be paralyzed by faith, but just, just take actions. Take mm -hmm. action, right? Uh, just act, just pray, seeking God's direction, and, and, then, and then just moving forward. Uh -huh. and, you know, and also that um, I wanted to, that reminds me of the, the bookmark by St. Teresa of Avila as well, you know, that, that all things are passing. You know, mm -hmm. uh, don't be troubled. Don't don't worry. All things are passing. God alone suffices. Mm -hmm. uh, something like that. Then know that every all these things will pass. You know, COVID will pass. The the elections and the aftermath that will pass, and 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 and, and so on. Life will get better. Things will get better. Mm -hmm. um, but so just hold firm to the Lord. Yeah. All right. Well, any last words on uh, this topic on confidence in God? No, I think. Um, I think that just, just the, the more confidence we have, the more we, we will see God act in, in, in our lives. Um, um, just, so just, just trust in the Lord and, and you will see that uh, He will come through for us. Yeah, all yeah. right, well, thank you very much. So, well, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this discussion on confidence in God. Um, this is the book that if you haven't received, um, you can get from either Amazon or from Sophia Press. So um, until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.